Today I want to show you how the new bulk creator add-in works for PowerPoint. I've downloaded a um, award certificate from Microsoft Templates and I want to reproduce this one slide a couple of times for all my students in my class. So under add-ins I've installed the new bulk create add-in from Bayward Labs and I'll, the first step is to add a data table. This here will create a table to the left of the slide where I can start entering some data. So I'll name the first column first name, second column last name. Then I'll want to also replace the instructor here. So I'll do instructor and perhaps a new date. And I'll just fill in the rest of this table quickly. as you see I've just kept it for three records for the time being I've got in the, my first section I've got the headers and I've got the records for the rest and the rest I'll keep empty for now and that's all I need to get started so for each slide that I want to generate I want to just replace this first name to whatever is under here in this first name there's two ways I can do it I can either type it in I can do these brackets and I can say first name like that so that matches that name matches that or to make it a bit easier I'll undo this um, and I can say while highlighting this section that I want to change I can go insert placeholders and you'll see that the placeholders that are shown here I'd match what's in my table so I want to insert the first name here and you'll see it would has replaced that section then this part here I want to be by the last name so I'll do the same process again I've highlighted the word I want to change and I'll go last name press insert maybe at this stage I just want to see if this actually works so I'll press on generate I'll keep it to single row per slide this is the simplest setting and the thing you'll use most of the time when I press OK I'm expecting that John Smith will be the first slide and it is the second slide is Kelly Lawson the third slide is Bob Ranger there you go these haven't been replaced yet because they weren't selected as fields to re be replaced. The other thing I want to point out is that it the add-in just did a text replacement. So it means whatever font I've selected here and what other color, that's what it kept in this section as well. But let's complete that. I'm just going to say edit undo. So I'm back to my slide. And I can now proceed by replacing this section with the instructor. And I want to place this text with the date. And I'll press generate again. Single row per slide. And this time the instructor was taken out of the instructor column and the date was taken out of the date column and there you go if you just got bulk creator from bearwood labs this is a good first exercise to do to get yourself familiar with it insert some placeholders into a template and generate them and see what happens thanks for your support
if you just got Bell Creator from Bearwood Labs, this is a good first exercise to do to get yourself familiar with it. Insert some placeholders into a template and generate them and see what happens. Thanks for your support.